Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited uh, to show you the items that I've purchased from the Chanel Holiday 2014 collection, or rather my latest splurge on Chanel. Not all the items are technically from the holiday collection, but they're the ones that I've bought. So there are a couple of items out of the bag there. I'm going to take um, the bag out of the way because it's taking out what little light I have um, on this wintry afternoon. Would you believe it is actually quite sunny? And I'm going to show you the items that I plumped for. Now, what you should know is that the two standout or kind of premium items in the collection are the eyeshadow palette. Uh, which I did not get. Uh, it's very cool toned silvers, three kind of silver white, a black and a rather strange yellowy gold which doesn't really go with the rest of the palette in my opinion and also in my opinion when I tested it out wasn't brilliant quality. I really didn't like the texture and application of it. And so coupled with the fact I wasn't really in the market for another cool to toned silver palette, I passed on that. Um, I did, however, get this product, which I was really looking forward to, which is the Camellia de, de Plume uh, highlighting powder. And I've seen photographs of this. I love highlighters and I knew it was just up my street. Here it is, the usual rather nice Chanel um, pouch with a little brush if you're in the market for on-the-go applications. The usual very elegant packaging which I love so much. But uh, here we go, covered up initially. And then just look at this, the most beautiful um, embossed, carved feather pattern. Um, a very silvery highlighter to match the eye palette, uh, very pigmented, but shows on the skin as just a beautiful, quite noticeable sheen. I'm going to turn off my actual side lights to see if it shows better in pure daylight. I think it probably does. So quite a showy, noticeable highlighter. Much cooler toned than anything I already had in my collection. And there you can see how beautiful it is in the pan. I guess the nearest I have to it is my Guerlain. This was the Cruel Gardenia a few years ago. And is a much, much pinker toned, but equally powerful and on the skin, absolutely dreamy rose gold highlighter, which I love uh, and do wear on special occasions, but quite a different tone to this one. So I really felt justified in getting this beautiful piece that I will definitely wear as well. So um, I do recommend if you are a highlighter lover, looking at this piece, because in my opinion, it's one of the most pigmented and pretty highlighters that um, Chanel have ever produced, certainly since I started collecting them. And to me, it's the highlight of the collection. Um, if you are into Illusion Dombe eye products, I quite like the limited edition one that I have actually already used a few times. This is called Envoile and is a very pretty peach. Um, some people have said that they don't like how glittery it is. Um, it's not showing particularly glittery, more kind of frost there. I will say on the eyes, you can see a bit of glitter if you look carefully, but I've actually worn it in the day um, and I'm in quite a conservative uh, job in terms of what you're allowed to wear and I think you can definitely get away with it. It's quite subtle, very, very pretty, just livens up the eye. Um, is it worth buying? If you are a fan of the Illusion Dombre, I think you'll like this. If you're looking to buy your first one, I think it is quite similar to MFAA, which is part of the permanent collection. You can see here mine, very well used. It's my most regularly used on a daily basis Illusion Dombre 
um, and it's just a bit less shimmery and on the eye a bit more pigmented. I really should show them next to each other. I'm not sure you're getting um, the full picture because they are quite subtle, both of them in reality. Um, so that looks much more pigmented, but when you actually apply it, it's hardly showing on my arm. Um, so it's much more subtle on the eye than MFA, which is quite subtle as well. They're both nice um, day Lucy and Dawn, but I like to wear both of them with um, some navy eye pencil and mascara. So I recommend those. There is a limited edition blush, which is a very pale peach. I looked at it, but in the end, uh, I've got Presage, which I wear in the kind of coral peach um, look and candy, both from Chanel. If you've got those, I'm not sure you need this one. There are two lipsticks, a beautiful red, but there are a lot of reds about this season, and a peach, which didn't show very much on my eyelids. Um, I had already bought the holiday nail polish, which is Phoenix, but I did buy, and I think I will probably do a separate um, video, or this will be too long for these, not technically part of the holiday collection, but they're a re-release that you got in the United States, I think a couple of months ago, of um, three 80s, 90s reds. So, uh, Lac Rouge, Rouge Flamboyant, a very, very tomatoey red, probably the nearest Phoenix, to be honest. Look how close they are. And my favourite, which is Rouge number 19, which is a more um, blue-toned pinky red. That's what I'm actually wearing on my nails at the moment. And I will say, uh, I was out cosmetic shopping yesterday and a couple of girls on the counter admired my nails and asked what was on. It's got a beautiful luster in the bottle, which just shows up as a great shine on the fingers. I think it's a really flattering shade for most skin tones. But I'll probably do um, a comparison of the uh, Chanel Reds uh, in a separate vid because I also wanted to show you another of the eye products, which is the um, Stilo for the limited edition holiday collection. I like the um, staying power of the Chanel Stilos, but some of them are quite hard to work with. This one, I haven't really used it yet on the eyes, is quite soft, a very subtle gold for putting in the waterline instead of white or um, cream, and uh, softer than a lot of them, so I decided to invest in that one. So it's an interesting collection, uh, a real mixture. I think the highlighter is just gorgeous, um, absolute standout to me. Uh, I'm loving the reds of the polishes. And, you know, the, it, there's a nice lipstick if you are in the market for another red. I just wasn't because um, I've got too many as it is. But it's a bit of a kind of mishmash of a collection. Um, you know, the red and the peach the gold and the silver, it's like too much going on. But then finally, I wanted to show you the free gift that I got with my purchases, which is indicating I'm spending far too much at Chanel. Here it is, pretty little box, and it's the Christmas card for VIPs. There you go, a teeny tiny bottle of um, Eau de Parfum number no. 5, being held by the reindeers on a Christmas scene. I thought that was just adorable and uh, so stylish. So I was very, very pleased with my um, little freebie from Chanel. I also got a pot of the, um, the number five body lotion as well. So that was very kind from the very nice sales assistant in the Covent Garden um, Chanel shop that was opened as a pop-up but is now permanent and I highly recommend if you're buying in London going to that Chanel shop rather than 
Um, one of the counters, uh, I particularly don't like the counter at Selfridges, have to say I have not found any of the sales assistants there helpful. They are extremely mean with um, samples, which frankly you're entitled to ask for and have before you buy expensive skincare products. Um, but they're, they're not good at Selfridges. So I highly uh, recommend going to the Covent Garden shop, which is a bit cramped inside, but the assistants are knowledgeable, helpful, and um, will not push you to buy things, but give you the chance to try things out and uh, give you some good advice as well. So those were my um, Chanel buys. I think I probably will do a separate vid for the nail polishes. But in the meantime, speak to you soon. Bye for now.